Hello and welcome. You're watching the first Monday E News Bulletin of 2023 of IPR Department with me, Chiring Eden. Let's look at some of the top stories making headlines. Chief Minister Sri Prem Singh Tamang attended the final day of the three day long state level Namprigdang Namsung Festival 2022 at Zonggu on Friday. The program was also attended by a host of state dignitaries, including the Legislative Assembly Deputy Speaker Sangye Lepcha, Minister MN Sherpa, MLA's Political Secretary to HCM North, Panchayat's Heads of Departments, various officers from Mangan District and the public of Zonggu. The Mela had competitive activities such as tug of war and traditional performances along with exhibition of the making of the revered Lepcha hat. Traditional food and attire in various stalls and so on were also on display. The Chief Minister in his address spoke about the importance of education and urged the citizens to make the most of the initiatives such as Mukhya Mantri's scholarship scheme and so on in order to help the people and further develop the district in various sectors. He also mentioned the various course of actions that could be taken collectively by everyone for the advancement of the society and urged everyone to continue working hard. Prime Minister Narendra Modi flagged off the Howrah New Jalpaiguri Vande Bharat Express train virtually on Friday. Along with this, Modi also laid the foundation stone for multiple railway projects. The Howrah NJP Vande Bharat Express train is West Bengal's first and the country's seventh Vande Bharat train to be launched. The train will ensure a faster journey and also provide a safe, hassle-free service to the passengers, it was informed. This train will run six days a week and will reduce the journey between Kolkata and NJP by over three hours. The Prime Minister attended the virtual ceremony of the launch shortly after performing the last rites of his centenarian mother, Hira Ben, in Ahmedabad, Gujarat. Prime Minister Modi was supposed to travel to West Bengal for the flagging of ceremony of the Vande Bharat Express, but had to travel to Gujarat instead to bid farewell to his mother, who passed away on Friday morning. Hira Ben passed away at the age of 100 years at a hospital in Ahmedabad. Despite the personal tragedy, PM Modi apologized to the people of Bengal for not being able to be present in person for the launch ceremony of the Vande Bharat Express. He further said the central government is making record investments to modernize Indian railways. As the world tries to ascertain what is happening in China right now with its coronavirus situation, sources within India's health ministry said the next 40 days are crucial as the country might see a surge in COVID-19 cases during the period. While a spurt in COVID-19 cases is likely, the severity of the infection will be less and deaths due to the virus will not rise, informed health officials. Amid the concerns over the global rise in COVID cases, India last week conducted mock drills across states to review the preparedness of hospitals to tackle the possible outbreak of the virus, which battered the world in the past two years. Media reports have suggested that China has been witnessing its worst COVID outbreak with experts saying that the situation can get worse. In India, new COVID cases, although are not showing an upward trend, but the government has brought in some restrictions and new guidelines for passengers coming from foreign countries. Face mask and random sampling testing have been made mandatory at airports in some states, including Karnataka. Private hospitals are restocking medical supplies, identifying isolation areas and reinforcing COVID-19 appropriate behavior to deal with likely threats from the new virus variant, as per a report. Keeping in mind the warning signs, the State Home Department issued an advisory last week on COVID-19. We've been there before and we are familiar with the COVID protocols. All we need to do now is to once again go back to following the COVID do's and don'ts. Please use face mask at public places, maintain physical distance, wash your hands regularly with soap and water, avoid international travel if possible. In case of symptoms, consult your doctor immediately if you haven't been vaccinated with a precautionary dose already. Please do it urgently. Do follow the advisories issued by the government from time to time. 
That's all we have today. Please like and follow our Facebook page. That is the Government of Sikkim official page for the most authentic news and information on recent developments in the government and the state. We wish all of you a very happy and prosperous new year. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you.